a, a big vulnerability found in many TCL Android smart TVs. So these are TVs that are very, very common. Uh, especially right now, we're going into the, the holiday, the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. Best Buy sells the hell out of TCL TVs. So does uh, Walmart. They're usually really reasonably priced, and they're smart TVs. Uh, they partner with Roku. So most of the Roku TVs that are out there are from TCL. Uh, and so there is a, uh, a remote attack available where an attacker can gain access to the system and do all sorts of crazy stuff with it. Um, a security researcher found this out and went through the process of reporting it, which turns out was borderline impossible to do. Uh, they found no human being they could contact at TCL, and the security email address bounces, uh, so it wasn't a valid address. <laughs> That's uh, great. Did it just come back with like an ASCII middle finger? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he ended up having to call Roku, and the Roku people put them in contact with TCL wow. and then got a response. Now, that's good. That means it is patched, right? I, I like how the security researchers had to hack contacting the security people <laughs> yeah. at this company. <laughs> yeah, I had to social engineer you yeah. to get your yeah. home phone number. So here's the thing, though. TCL fixed it, and they pushed out a patch to repair it. Now, the security researcher was watching for this, and, and here's what they found. TCL silently pushed out a patch that updated the TV that removed that blocked the port that the attackers were used are able to be able to use to connect. Now they did this with absolutely no messaging on the TV, no warning, no communication, and in fact, even the version number of the software, the firmware on the TV did not change. And so what that says is, you know, one, they can fix this really fast and automatic, which is nice. And two, TCL can do whatever the hell they want with your TV <laughs> at any moment's notice. And so, like, they are capable of remotely connecting into any TCL television on the entire planet with no password, no confirmation. You'll see nothing on screen. And so the security researcher, uh, John Jackson, uh, he said that while it's good they, they fixed it, it's bad that you've got this company that you know nothing about. They're, uh, I believe they are a Chinese If I may, company. from they are a Wikipedia, company, yeah. yes. TCL Technologies, a Chinese multinational electronics company. I'm sensing a, like a, a pattern here, Don, yeah. <laughs> with these Chinese companies. Well, yeah. you know, <laughs> no, you just found the back door we put in. This is yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. So is, uh, does it say that TCL is state? It, it would be state It doesn't control, say right? if it's state or not. Oh, at least it's not what I'm seeing in the article anyway. I know it, China's. It is under the. So there was a part in this article that talked about companies that, here it is, um, the vulnerabilities raise serious questions about cybersecurity of consumer electronics that are being widely distributed to the public. TCL, a mainline Chinese firm, is among those that have raised concerns in the U.S. intelligence community and among law enforcement and lawmakers alongside firms like Weiwei, which has been labeled a national security threat, ZTE, yep. and Lenovo. All right. TCL was originally founded as a state-owned enterprise, yeah, and yeah. they became publicly traded in 2004. So, yes, they are state-owned. Well, there you go. Yep. So, uh, effectively, if if a war ever broke out between <laughs> countries or whatever, China can shut your TVs off. Yeah. <laughs> or they can watch you, right? Because a lot of these, camera, oh, they, all these TVs have yeah, cameras, and they be. can... I don't download. know. Now, well, they Roku can watch the show with you. Pivot from your TV to other devices. The Roku TVs have microphones in the remotes, right. so there is that. So yeah. definitely on the microphone side. I don't know about cameras, though. I've, yeah. I haven't had a TV with it, a It says in the article that they oh. were able to like view camera files and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we go. There you go. So so I know that most likely the, the hack involved getting the TV so they could use it as part of a botnet or something to mine Bitcoin or attack other sites, and, and that's great. But... I think it would be fun if, if you could just control what was on someone's TV. Do you think I could do that if I had access through this? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. That's awesome. And the, the lesson here is that we should all be buying American TVs well, from brands like... Hold on. Um, <laughs> um, like, yeah. um, Maytag? Uh, Zenith? Um, <laughs> they're Mexican, right? <laughs> Samsung? No. Yeah. I, I'm pretty certain there are no American TV We just TV stopped watching TV. Right? So it does say right here, I love this part, it said that... Um, uh, and while disputes over Chinese apps like TikTok dominate the headlines, a recent report from the firm Insights on China's growing cyber risk, uh, cyber risk notes that the Chinese Communist Party is engaged in far broader campaign in a far broader campaign to elevate the country to a superpower status by treating quote data as the most valuable asset. Aren't they already a superpower? Like I would China? assume. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're nuclear yeah. and everything. Okay. But yeah. I guess they're trying to push that even. Super, super, super power. duper power. Yeah, the super only superpower. Power. Yeah. <laughs> super <laughs> the only superpower. Power. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's right. fun. 
Well, anyhow, so anyhow. It, it goes back to IoT is a huge threat, and you <laughs> cannot indeed. trust devices on your network, and you should be leveraging a firewall when possible. Amen. Um, I'm going to take those two TVs out, and I'm going to plug them in and uh, let them get that little patch. Let them silently Yeah, update. yeah. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.